Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. Sometimes more than once a week, depending on uh, my own free time. So if you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that below. I grab those and we'll give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is brought to you by Smarticle Entertainment and this is Area Shop made by NLT. H I J S 48. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Nithin 48. So, anyway, this is a great plugin. I've used Simple Region Market in the past, which was lacking some options that this one has loads of. One of the big ones is uh, the ability to reset a region once it finishes um, its rental period, which is fantastic. Um, there's, I've been watching this this one for a while, and I was waiting for some features to be put in, and they've done it. So I am working on putting it on my server. This is a sneak peek to the new shops area on my new server, or on my fan server, not a new server, um, built by Lowell's, S, uh, Lowell's BMX, and um, has 63 shops. So this is really neat. Anyway, this plugin requires world guard world edit and vault, which usually, if you're running any kind of economy or in any kind of multiplayer server that's not vanilla you'll have those anyway so not too difficult let's um i was really oh there it goes so see it wiped it all out that's so cool and it tells you when it's when it has done so which is really neat so anyway before we get into creating a shop let's clear this out um a couple things to note before we do that so using world guard you have to create the region that the shop is going to be. So you, you select the area inside. So you want to be sure to select inside the, the shop so that they can't edit the walls or anything like that. And then before you even get into that, you're likely going to have overlapping regions. Like if you have a prison server, you're going to have an overall region. So I have a lobby region. Um, that's this whole thing and all the shops are going to overlap on top of that. So by default, when you create a region, the priority is going to be zero. And then, so if you have two regions that have the same priority, Minecraft's going to conflict and not know, you know, sometimes people will get access, sometimes they won't, that kind of stuff. So what you should do is do region um, set priority lobby negative one so then when you're defining any region inside of that area it's automatically going to have a higher priority than those so like if we do region info shop one you're going to see the priority is zero negative one this one's going to take precedence and people who have rented this region will be able to edit inside of it so side note on that i'm not going to show you how to define regions you should be able to know how to do that i will need a sign oh my gosh i got rid of my sign so there's three ways to get, I'm holding my fingers up like you can see, there's three ways you can you can define a region. So you can do AS, add, rent, shop one. So that's the region name right there. And then it's gonna add a rental shop, all that stuff. You can then, you can put a sign inside the region and then uh, put rent on there and then the time and then the price, which we're gonna go over shortly here. But um, I like to give my users as much shop space as they can. So I usually define these outside. So we're going to do rent. I think it's got to be all lowercase. I'm not sure about that one. And then the region name. So that's shop one. And then the time. This one can be any amount of time with a space and then um, a letter or a short word, which I'll show you what it is in the config file here when we get to it towards the end. Um, we're going to do minutes. If you do capital M, that's months. If you do H, that's hours. Um, y is years. I don't know why. <laughs> and then days. So we're just going to do minutes. And then the price. So we're just going to put one. And there we go. Now, if you're following along at home with something that you've made as well, you might notice that this line is different. By default, this will show the region name instead of just this, which... I didn't really find any use in that, so I've modified that, which I'll show you how to do in the config here in a second. So a couple things on it. Um, the permissions. Now, 
there is a lot of permissions. There's a lot of them that are by default. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a link in the jibbles below to the permissions page on the 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 um, author's website while I walk around here and show you guys this uh, shop area, which is really neat. There's actually a couple of the permission nodes that I want to highlight, though, is areashop.rentextendbypass and areashop.limits.group. So you can limit how many uh, shops somebody can rent at a time. Um, which if you want some donors to be able to rent more, um, if you want mods to be able to extend their rent as much as possible, you can do that as well. That's pretty neat. So let's go over some commands here before we get over into the config file. So you can do AS rent region name. If you want to just um, rent it from afar, you can right click on the sign. You can, you can just do AS rent when you're inside the region and it'll automatically determine the region that you're renting and then you can actually do as on rent so let's say you still have some time left on your rental you do as on on rent and then um, the region name and then it will give you back and refund you any kind of money that's left you know based upon how much time is left on the shop which you can modify how much time or how much money they get back so if you want it to be like oh you get 50 percent less back than you would have um I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, but you know, you can kind of get it. If if you rent a shop for a minute for $1 and you unrent it 30 seconds in, you should get 50 cents back. But if you want to modify it so that you don't get as much back, you can put a 50% um, modifier in the config file so that when they unrent it at 30 seconds, instead of 50 cents they get back, they get 25. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense for you guys. And then you can do some AS info... Um, you can do all, you can do rented or all or for rent. Um, let's see, for rent. And then it should, uh, it'll list any, all the unrented regions that are available, all that stuff, which is really nice. Then you can do ASTP shop one, or then, and then you can do AS, uh, as an admin, you can set the TP. So set TP shop one. So then that's where the, the, teleport will be right there um, you can do as find rent there we go so it's found the only available shop that's for rent you can even put in a modifier in there of like the max price so if you don't want to spend too much it'll find a region up based upon that price and then you can even as an admin, you can uh, set the price. You can modify the region price, which is really cool. Um, actually, the commands on these are backwards. So AS set price, and then the new price is going to be two shop one. And then you can change the duration of it too, which is really cool. And it's AS rent dur duration. And I think this one's backwards, actually. So then you do shop one, and then the amount, so two minutes. And there we go. So you don't need to destroy it and recreate it, all that stuff. You can modify it all in there. Really cool. Let's get into config file and wrap this whole thing up. All right, so here we are with our um, server here. Side note of it, I just realized I'm not going to distribute that uh, shop area because that's mine. So uh, I'll still provide the download link for this server with uh, the area shop settings back to default and then um, so just so you at least get uh, this download but anyway let's get into it so you go on your plugins you drop your area shop in here start your server and then you get your your server or your folder here so the first one we're going to look at is config and then we're going to look at default actually we're going to look at default first this is where you can set all of your defaults now a couple things to note in here is you need to um you need to enable restore. You need to set this to true. I think by default it's false. If you want it to reset the, the schematic back to what it was before it was rented. Um, so that's a big one in there. And then the other part, the other part is in the rental, you can set this to be you can set your max ex max extend. So if you want it to be like they rent it once and they can't extend their rental time, you set that to zero. If you want it to be infinite, like they can just keep renting the, the same space over again, set that to negative one. 
and then it goes from there. And then here's where you set your money back. So that means 100% based upon the time that's left. So if you wanted 50% or 75%, so if they rent it and then unrent it immediately, they'll only get 75% of their money back or 50% or 100%, whatever you want it to be. Um, you can just leave that, probably just leave that at 100%. I don't know. It's up to you. It's your server. You do what you want. So in the config file, let's take a look at this. You can change your chant prefix, which you probably already noticed. You can change the money character, um, which is really nice. You can change the uh, language file, which there's two provided, but you can create your own, which is really nice. Here's another part where you need to enable schematic saving and restoring in general. So you got to set that to true. So it's two places that you need to, to enable that in order to get the reset going. And then uh, send stats, blah, 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 blah. And then you can set the teleport default teleport um, location for bottom, middle, top of the region. I think I just put it at bottom. You can, you can change your sign tags in here to be whatever you want you can limit the groups here so you can add more groups so that permission nodes the group one is going to reference this so if you want to change put uh, your like a vip group you would just do copy and then put that there and change this to vip and then you give them that permission node of area shop dot limits dot group and then it's going to be you can have two you can have two that kind of stuff so if you want your vips to be able to have more than one shop that's an option for you now here's the sign profiles this is where you can change the way that they look here's all of the variables that you have available for you you can show all of that stuff um which you can see that this was region and i changed it just to a generic shop because it's like it's not that it's not that important to to have that so a couple other options that i didn't go over when we were looking at it is you can left click on a sign and it'll give you information about that region which is really cool and then right click is going to be renting the region and you can set all of these things up um, you can add more of these if you want to do a shift shift left click does something else all of that stuff um, here's your for rent rented you can have different things all that stuff shift right click so if you want uh, to unrent you can do shift right click will unrent the region which is really cool so you don't even need to know any of the commands as a player it's really neat and then there's just there's so many options in here guys i mean the you can do whatever you want you can this area you can set custom commands to be run and when stuff is rented or extended or unrented if you want it to announce to everybody if you want to send a personal message to that person or if you want to send a message to the admin just so they know what's going on i don't know you, you have whatever you want and then this is schematic profile so this is going to show you um, this is what is saved in here as you can see we got one a rental shop in there um, so you really can you can even open this up to ha allow players to create signs so that they could rent and sell areas inside of their stuff which is really cool um, and then uh, here's your flag profiles which I think I removed them because I just didn't like it announcing that the region was a uh, for sale for everybody all that stuff you can change the time format which i did because um i'm in the u.s so i changed the u.s and then here is all of the the uh modifiers is the variables or whatever um so there's your m h d m y or minute hours minutes minutes or um i think that's netherlands or is that dutch i don't know i'm assuming that's what nl is so anyway that's all i got guys um so cool looks like there's a server you can hop on to just see the see a demo otherwise you can download this one link will be in the jibbles below and uh we're just gonna wrap it up here so hopefully you guys found that helpful i'm definitely gonna be using this this um plugin very very shortly it's very neat a lot of options so much configurability of it and it's very quick and easy all at the same time it's all my favorite things that i like about a plugin quick easy but highly configurable and very powerful so hopefully you guys found that helpful this is Connors from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless oh I dude turn around turn around turn around turn around okay got you got saved it. i saved oh, your life he's coming at me uh, i saved your life that was that was kind of crazy yeah it was crazy
Okay, so... Remember.